Good evening, folks. Welcome to another edition of Carolina Panthers Talk. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram of Blitzball Champ Gaming, coming at you here on the U to the Two. So, some interesting things took place, and there has been yet another signing, but that signing came at the cost of a waiver as well. So, <clears throat> Carolina Panthers ended up letting go of rookie safety J.T. Abe after a really, really dirty hit that he laid on wide receiver Keith Kirkwood during practice. So, just to go over a little bit of details, <clears throat> Panthers receiver Keith Kirkwood suffered a serious injury uh, Tuesday, which is today, after taking a hit to the head slash neck from reserve safety J.T. Ibe. Um, apparently, he took the hit, he fell on the ground motionless, and he was carted off and taken away in an ambulance. And from that, J.T. Ibe got kicked out of practice, and then, not too long after that, was waived. And, you know, Coach Matt Rule was very straightforward on the no tolerance for that dirty hit and released JT Ibe. And apparently Keith Kirkwood was rushed to the, to a Spartanburg hospital, but they say that supposedly he suffered a concussion, but that he was able to uh, get back on his feet and move forward. So hopefully Keith Kirkwood can uh, recover and be able to push forward, but sounds like Jay... JT Ibe pretty much got kicked off the team for the dirty hit. Um, they don't have any video footage of the dirty hit, but I assume that it was a hit on the defenseless receiver or just the fact that he took aim at his head and neck. That was That's really just what this is stressing. But yeah, it was a hit to the head and neck. So, yeah. So the Panthers have waived rookie safety JT Ibe. And afterwards, <clears throat> they ended up claiming linebacker Nate Hall off of waivers. <clears throat> so, Nate Hall was originally. Uh, with the Texans. And this is a signing that helps add more depth to the linebacker core as Shaq Thompson is still recovering from a minor uh, lower body injury. <clears throat> but he's a undrafted rookie out of Northwestern College. Uh, just a little bit of background. He's 6'2", 235 pounds, out of Northwestern, undrafted in uh, 2019, only 25 years old. He has spent time with the Cowboys, Bills, Texans. He has appeared in 10 games for the Texans last season. Uh, just a little bit of stats. I mean, his career stats... As of um, 2020, week 12, 2020, only has 10 tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble. So, <clears throat> not a whole lot. Uh, but hopefully he can contribute to the team.
but yeah, don't know, don't really know a whole lot about them. But, but yeah, Nate Hall, newest acquisition for the Carolina Panthers, linebacker, adding on to the linebacker core. But hopefully, <clears throat> Shaq can return to practice ASAP and that Keith, Kirk, Keith Kirkwood can return to practice as well and heal up. Uh, those concussions are no joke, but <clears throat> I think they did the right thing. You know, it's bad enough seeing those hits in actual games, but when you have your own teammates doing that in practice, <clears throat> it's unacceptable. And, you know, I don't know if JT Ibe is apologized or anything like that, or if he will apologize, but I think they made the right decision and letting him go because <clears throat> realistically it's, it's uncalled for it was definitely uncalled for but like i said i'm only speaking on this judging by the description i haven't seen video of the hit so i don't know what it looked like i'm only just forming my thoughts from what was said about it what was described so um let me know what y'all think. Uh, did any anybody see the hit? Um, what did y'all think of the decision to waive JT Ibe? What do y'all think of the acquisition of linebacker Nate Hall? <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And thank you so much for watching. This is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram of Blitzball Champ Gaming. Hope everybody has a blessed evening and I will see y'all later. Peace.